33 years after her abduction, these former South African police officers are standing trial for the murder of anti-appetite activist Nokuthla Simelane. Their amnesty applications under the Truth and Reconciliation Commission were denied when it was ruled that they hadn't revealed the full truth behind her disappearance. But only now, on the Commission's 20th anniversary, are they facing prosecution, with Simelane's family hoping to finally find out what happened. If they threw her into the river, they must take me there. If they bent her into ashes, they must tell me the site. If they buried her somewhere, let's dig the remains so that we give her a burial. That's all that I'm looking for. When it first sat on April 15, 1996, the commission was a revolutionary concept, offering amnesty to perpetrators of political crimes on one condition, complete disclosure. It recommended over 300 cases for prosecution where amnesty was denied. If they are prepared to come to the truth, and maybe I gave the remains, then it's better. I can forgive them. I can forgive but only a handful ever made it to court to the despair of the victims' families. The Simulane family has been pushing for this trial for over a decade, but hit endless dead ends. How can the party that set up the Truth Commission, which was seen as the great moral mechanism of the 1990s, it took the world by storm, how can you not follow through on what you've committed yourself to in legislation? I miss this one. Many believe former resistance fighters who are now powerful figures in the ruling African National Congress may have something to hide. You know, this was a conflict in which uh, there were few uh, angels about, at least those involved in, in, in combat. Um, so it stands to reason that um, uh, uh, persons on the side of the ANC who were involved in the armed struggle could potentially uh, face uh, the consequences because crimes uh, were committed on that side as well. The National Prosecuting Authority says it's investigating why it's taking so long to resolve the remaining cases. For Similana's family, at least the truth and reconciliation promised by the Commission may finally become a reality. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.